time with District D. That's me. Thank you for clicking on this video and making yourself a priority. And if you haven't hit that subscribe button and are not part of my community, there's still time. Go right down there, hit that subscribe button if you like this content. My content is all about weight loss, healthy living, and hitting it when you're in your 50s. So if that's something you'd like, hit that subscribe button. And if you do enjoy this video after you're done, I would hope you give it a thumbs up and let me know. And in the comment section below, let me know what you thought of my food. This is what I eat in a day, in a week on the My MyWW. Personal points plan, I skewed a little bit. I'm kind of following the blue plan a little bit. I lost all my weight on the blue plan. So I've been on the blue plan for four years. So it is a plan near and dear to my heart. So, you know, I kind of had to do it. So that's what I'm following, but I give the points if I know them on the personal points plan. So stay tuned. You will see what I ate a few meals this week, breakfast, lunch, dinner. So I hope you enjoy it and let's roll some footage. All right, breakfast this morning is an extremely high protein breakfast. I have two slices of a new bread that I'm just trying from Aldi. It is called the Lovin' Fresh Protein Bread, plant-based protein. 10 grams of protein per slice, four net carbs, and zero guilt. I'm all for that. I put avocado on there, <clears throat> a little over a point's worth, zero points for me now. I have two eggs and a splash of egg whites with one Canadian bacon. So this is a zero point food for me, and that's a zero point amount of Canadian bacon with some hot sauce. So two slices of this bread is three points. One slice is two, two slices are three. WW math, what can I tell you? So for me, it is three point breakfast. I will show you the nutritional information on the bread. Here it is, 100 calories a slice, 10 grams of protein, seven grams of carbs, and you had minus the carbs, the fiber from the carbs, you get the net carbs. So um, it looks, it smells really good. It doesn't smell like that um, keto bread. It smells actually pretty good. And it's very seedy, you can tell. Lots of seeds on it. So I'm excited to try it. It's a new food find for me. So can't wait to dig in. All right, dinner tonight is a Trader Joe's shrimp burger. You can't see it, it's in my wrap. It's two points for the burger, two points for the wrap, though I probably won't eat all the wrap. But egg roll on a bowl for zero points. This is the seaweed you get in this, like here by the Dollar Tree out of you get with my egg roll on a bowl. And a Portobello low carb pizza. Yeah, it's really no carb actually. Well, no, the cheese, cheese has carbs, doesn't it? I don't know. It is a low point pizza and a portobello with pepperoni. All right, breakfast this morning is a Kodiak microwaved pancake in a mug. It is a third cup of mix, third cup of unsweetened cashew milk and one egg. Microwave for a little over two minutes, but two minutes and 10 seconds. And then I top it with this mariachi flavored almond horchata and this is 18 net carbs so i am doing well for breakfast let that little tablespoon seep in and i'm going to enjoy my breakfast this morning all right lunch today and i'm going to say big ass salad there's mesculins carrots onions celery grilled chicken there's a horrible egg somewhere in there and I did a little balsamic vinaigrette. So honestly, give it two points for the balsamic vinaigrette. You know, give or take. So it's, it's, if you had to count how many vegetable cups I have in here, way too many to count. So that's what I'm going to have for lunch today. All right. I'm having a little dinner. I'm having some of the Just Bear chicken nuggets from Costco and some of the Trader Joe's cauliflower gnocchi, just sauteed in a little bit of spray butter. The gnocchi are four points, the chicken, a serving is four. I have a little bit more. I have more like six points. So I have a 10 point dinner. I may throw a little egg roll in a bowl that I prepped. We'll see how hungry I am after this. But this is so far what I'm having for din din tonight. Good morning. Breakfast this morning is avocado egg toast from the TikTok. I have two slices of my new favorite bread, the protein bread. I got it Aldi. 10 grams of protein per slice, 4 grams of net carbs per slice, and zero guilt. It is 100 calories per slice as well. On WW, it is two, one slice for two points, two slices for three points, which I think is a buy. I topped it with my zero point food of avocado. I really don't know how much I have. Honestly, I don't think there's more than... I keep it to a point's worth because that's what I usually have anyway, and it's plenty for me. It's about 32 grams. 
and I have a horrible egg shaved on top with some of my favorites. I talk about this all the time. You ask about a Cholula hot sauce. Yeah. I don't know. I like this hot sauce the best out of all of them, but hey, you do you. But for me on my personal points, this is a three point breakfast. High in protein between the bread and the egg and deliciousness of my healthy fat of avocado. Have a great day, folks. All right, lunch today is a two point Weight Watcher salt and vinegar chips with a crepini cauliflower egg wrap for one point with zero point uh, low fat turkey and some mescaline greens. So my lunch is three points on my personal points. Smells good, I can want you to dig in. I like these crepini wraps, they're pretty good. All right, first course tonight is a cup of cauliflower garlic rice I got from Aldi with a cup of spinach, once I mix it, it will wilt, and a chicken thigh. So for me, I just have to count the chicken thigh, which I don't, but if you did, it would probably be eh, two, two, three points for that chicken. I don't count chicken thighs. This girl did not gain weight eating chicken thighs. But if you want to count it, you absolutely can weigh it and figure out your points, but it's just going to be a little, cute little bowl. If I may have some egg roll in a bowl that I meal prepped. We'll see how I feel when I'm done eating this. All right, breakfast this morning is a breakfast hack wrap from TikTok. I used the cut the carb wrap for two points, and I believe it's only 12 net carbs. I have two eggs, I have a zero point amount of avocado, and I have a laughing cow cheese for one point. Avocado is my zero point food, but if you were going to count that avocado, it's gotta be, I would say close to two points worth, maybe one and a half, you know. It was a, it was a going south avocado, so I didn't eat a lot of it. It was kind of nasty. So for me on my personal points, it is two for my wrap, one for my cheese. So it is a three point breakfast wrap. I wish I had some salsa, that would go really good on here. I could put a little, maybe I put a little dollop of non-fat Greek yogurt, because it is my zero point food, and a dollop will never hurt you. I wish I had salsa though. I'm gonna say that again, I wish I had salsa. So yes, this is a high protein and delicious breakfast. There's a little bit of avocado peeking out, and it's nice and toasted. I should have filmed it, but no time here today in the Dish with D house. All right, dinner tonight is Trader Joe's Butternut Squash Risotto. No, Butternut Squash Cauliflower Rice Risotto. Just sounded good. A uh, cup is one point, so I have a cup. And my salmon, which I just have just pan fried with a little bit of olive oil and a little bit of spices is zero points on my personal points. So my dinner tonight is one point. You can't beat that. My salmon is perfectly medium, medium well, because that's how I like it. So this is a high protein and delicious, yummy dinner for me tonight. Let's have a fun little product review, shall we? If you're part of my Facebook family and I do a thing called ramblings in the morning on my way to work, I've been talking about how much better my sinuses have been feeling lately. And I said I'd explain to you in a little bit why. Um, a company reached out to me called Herbal Vineyards and asked me if I would try their it sounds funny to say wild crafted sea moss gel i know that may sound weird sea moss gel but when i looked at the benefits of taking sea moss gel they are not paying me they sent me the product that is it so you can say my god d is going to review sea moss gel they must have been paying her no they're a very small family-owned company and i thought it'd be fun to give a little helping hand to a little family-owned company and honestly this has helped i don't know now, I stopped taking it over the weekend to see if I'm going to get a relapse. And yeah, the sinuses are horrible again. Oh my gosh. Um, this sea moss gel is amazing. I, I didn't think I'd like it. I'm like going, this sounds weird. It's sea moss gel. But bear with me and let me explain a little bit about the history of sea moss gel. For hundreds of years, sea moss gel has been used for medical purposes. In fact, the name came from about because it was often used as a source of nutrient and food rich for Irish, Irish potato famine in the 1800s. Sea moss is a type of red algae or seaweed. This seaweed has long been applauded for its superfood. Now, the herbal vineyards source their seaweed, sea moss, from the Caribbean waters of St. Lucia. There's variations of sea moss. Various color, shape, sizes, but all the various types of sea moss have the same nutritional value as long as the superfood is 100% wild caught, wild crafted, and not farm raised. Herbal Vineyards takes pride in providing our customers with quality sea moss that is 100% wild crafted, raw, and organic. Here are the benefits of sea moss, why I chose to try it. 
it may be it may supply our bodies with nutrients seaweed is extremely nutrient dense it is almost like a natural multivitamin sea moss has 92 to 110 minerals the body of the body made from containing beta carotene vitamin b vitamin c sulfur as well as minerals like magnesium calcium phosphorus and zinc it may strengthen the immune system another reason why i chose it because the world we're living in today we need to strengthen the immune system so i thought help the body fight back against everyday aging inflammation and is what could be called the antis the anti-inflammatory anti-aging antibacterial and antiviral it is used as a treatment to help prevent and relieve cold and flu-like symptoms it may provide nourishment to the skin that's good for the skin hair and nails so i thought that was another you know and i've been getting covered on my hair lately i don't know helps promote healthy digestion Another reason why. And I will say things move along a little bit better. It may even improve your emotional health. Sea moss has a bunch of magnesium and potassium, which are known mood boosters. Both minerals play a key role in the brain function. So, I mean, I, there was just a lot of benefits. And then one was also improved your thyroid function because of the iodine. So I thought it was interesting. Just, you know, improve your energy levels. It even says support healthy weight loss. I don't know helps build strong muscles and support a healthy heart so honestly it was worth a try what you know i figured i didn't have anything to lose for all these nutrient things and it is does have a very short shelf life so you can mix it in your favorite beverage now this is the purple one they, there is a golden one as well they both taste exactly the same i'm not sure why one is different but so i'm up to two teaspoons you can take one to two teaspoons a day you put it in your favorite beverage hot or cold like that also it says it's it can be used as a thickening agent so if you put it in something warm like a, you know if you need it thick or so you put it in your soup or something you fix it and you drink it i don't even know what's even in there so that is it so i do have a link it's not an affiliate link or anything. There's really no discount that goes along with it. But if you're if you're interested in wanting to check something like this out, I highly recommend it. Um, like I said, my allergies, now you know, my allergies have been bugging me since last fall. I've been sneezing my head off. My allergy medicine hasn't helping. So I thought, I'm going to try this. What do I have to lose? I had nothing to lose and everything to gain. And it's been better. I'm going, I would, like I said, I didn't want to bring this product until I tried it. And I've been drinking it other than over the weekend for two weeks. I finished, actually, I'm on my second bottle. So, there you have it. So, thank you, Herbal Vineyards, for trusting me with your baby. And I, like I said, it's really helped my sinuses tremendously. So, if you're suffering and your allergy medicine just isn't kicking in, I say give it a try. It's, I don't think it's too costly. I think a bottle is probably around $28, $38. I'm not even sure. They're having a sale right now, I do believe. They also have... They also have it come in capsules with so you thinking to yourself, I don't know if I want to, you know, try this. I'd rather take a pill. I do believe it comes in a, some sort of a pill form. But they also recommend if you buy in bulk, you could freeze them. You would just put this in a plastic container because you don't freeze glass. And then this way, when you're ready to use it, you would just uh, take it out of the freezer. So that's it. That's my little PSA for today. Breakfast this morning is a Kodiak pancake muffin in a mug. It is half a cup of Kodiak mix for four points, one egg for zero for me, and half a cup of unsweetened vanilla cashew milk, and a splash of maple bourbon pecan skinny syrup. It's my favorite by far. And I topped it with a little bit of maple just to give it a little bit of pizzazz. I microwaved it for two minutes and 30 seconds and popped it out, and there it is. It's a thing of beauty, and it is so satiating. It is crazy. If you would buy their pancake container thingies in their in the Kodak department of like Target. It's like nine points. Yeah. This is four and it's huge. So yeah. I'm gonna go enjoy this. Alright, quick breakfast this morning. Two scrambled eggs with a slice of Canadian bacon and a piece of my pumpkin braces oat bread. It is two points for my bread. My eggs are zero so it's a two point breakfast for me on my plan. All right, dinner tonight is a four ounce sirloin steak from my butcher box. I believe it is four points based on the app. 
I have one cup of my peanut Asian noodles that I meal prepped. Meal prep video is linked. And some steamed broccoli. This is three points. This is four points. So my dinner tonight is seven points. Can't beat that with a stick. Breakfast this morning is overnight oats. It's Monday. So you know I had a half a bottle of Premier Protein. Today I had pumpkin. Half a cup of quick oats. Teaspoon of chia seeds. Splash cashew milk. And a third cup of non-fat Greek yogurt. This will keep me full till one o'clock. As it should. It is high in carbs. It is 27 carbs. But you know what? I am doing for 30 a meal. And this fits my bill perfectly. So what I'm going to add to this. Is something I hauled on a food finds. It is called Tasty Shakes. It's oatmeal mix-ins, vanilla bean. It's just a sprinkle. It does have points if you use a certain amount. So it does have calories. But like I said, 10 calories for one teaspoon. We'll only need half a teaspoon. And that'll give us a little oomph on our overnight oats. Have a wonderful day. I'm going to enjoy my breakfast. Lunch today is a crepini wrap for one point with zero point turkey and a baby bell cheese. No, laughing cow cheese. So my wrap is two points. I have a two point bag of cheese. I also have some of my, look, homemade sprouts that I grew myself. The video will be coming at you. Maybe when I'll show you how easy it is to grow your own sprouts. It's simple. If I could do it, you can do it. So I'm gonna enjoy my lunch today. That's it. I hope you enjoyed seeing what I ate a few things this week. Some things are on the meal prep video. If they are, I will have them linked down below for each. I have two different meal preps. So if they're in, if it was in a meal prep, it'll be linked down below to that meal prep. So if you're interested, just go right down in the description box, hit that link and it'll take you right to that video. So thanks for watching. Like I said, again, if you did enjoy it, a thumbs up would be great. And a comment is always welcome. So I will see you next week on what I eat in a day.